The market's tumble came as President Trump was talking about his tax cuts in Ohio. And Dean Reynolds is there. Your paychecks are going way up. Your taxes are going way down. As the president spoke and near right Cincinnati, now, he sounded unaware of the news from Wall game. Street so at the corner of the screen. And what do you see GDP over the next year or two? What do you see what happens to our country? Listening to Mr. Trump, you would not have known that Dow Jones Industrial Average was off more than 1,000 points, or that cable news networks were breaking away from his speech to sound the alarm. We're interrupting for breaking news. Mr. Trump came here to Ohio to visit with workers at a plant that makes hydraulic cylinders for finely tuned machines. And while he often talks up the stock market and even claims credit for its previously record-setting heights, Mr. Trump didn't mention it in his remarks today. Instead, he dwelled on tax cuts and the leadership needed to enact them. You can work hard, but if you don't have the right leader setting the right tone, in all fairness, I'm not even saying, I am non-braggadocious. He told factory workers here that Democratic lawmakers who did not applaud good economic news he delivered during his State of the Union tonight, address last week in Washington Shaw, were worse than naysayers. Boy, they were un-American. They were like death and un-American, un-American. Somebody said treasonous. I mean, yeah, I guess why not? You know. Can we call that treason? Why not? I mean, they certainly didn't seem to love our country very much. Now, in response to the stock market swoon, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said late today, quote, the president's focus is on our long-term economic fundamentals, which remain exceptionally strong. Jeff? Dean Reynolds, thank you very much.